This video is a review of the classical waves chapter in the quantum chemistry and spectroscopy playlist. So we start with the classical wave equation, the equation that says that for a given uh, amplitude of a wave, u, which is a function of position and time, that the second partial derivative with respect to space is equal to 1 over the velocity squared times the second partial derivative with respect to time. So any function for which this is true it can be a classical wave. We go about solving this by assuming separation of variables that we can separate this into a function of space and a function of time which we can solve separately. We then apply this to the specific case of a vibrating string where its ends are clamped down at u equals 0, at x equals 0, and x equals l. Those are what are called our boundary conditions that u0 of t equals ul of t equals 0. And the solution we get there is that we get a combination of what are called standing waves, where our function in time is a cosine. We have a magnitude or amplitude a sub n, cosine n pi vt over l, plus a phase factor phi n. So the time part is a cosine in time, and the space part is a sine function, sine n pi x over l, where both of these ends are some integer starting at 1, going up from there. So every n we go up, we introduce another half sine wave in time with each of the higher energy waves moving around faster in time. Then we have a video showing an animation of this, how in general you have a linear combination of these individual standing waves to get any wave you want from these normal modes. And with the correct choice of amplitude and phase factor, we can represent any function with the correct boundary conditions obeyed. So this is the review of the classical waves chapter linked to each individual video in the on-screen annotations and in the description.